Good morning, my friends. Father Wynn here on Saturday morning, pre-dawn on October 3rd. Today the church remembers John Raleigh Mott. He was a long-serving leader of the YMCA and the World Student Christian Federation. He received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1946 for his work in establishing and strengthening international Protestant Christian student organizations that work to promote peace. From 1895 until 1920, Mott was the general secretary of this organization. And in 1910, Mott, an American Methodist layperson, presided at the 1910 World Missionary Conference which launched both the modern Protestant missions movement and some say the modern ecumenical movement. From 1920 until 1928, he was the chairperson of this organization, the WSCF, for his labors in both missions and ecumenism, as well as for peace. Some historians consider him to be the most widely traveled and universally trusted Christian leader of his time. Intimately involved in the formation of the World Council of Churches in 1948, that body elected him as a lifelong honorary president. His best known book, The Evangelization of the World in This Generation, became a missionary slogan in the early 20th century. John Raleigh Mott, who died on this date in 1955. Let's take a moment to breathe. Close our eyes. Take a few conscious breaths. Breathing in all we carry into the day, all we are to do in the day ahead. And then releasing it all on our breath, into the breath, the spirit, the grace of God. As we take a moment to enjoy the early morning stillness. Let's start on page 80 with the invitatory. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing on page 82 with the Venite. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The psalm reading for this morning is Psalm 133, found on page 787. Psalm 133 on page 787. Oh, how good and pleasant it is 
when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion, for there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The reading is from Luke 7, 11 through 17. Soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow. And with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the bier, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has looked favorably on his people. This word about him spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The canticle response is Canticle 19, A Song of the Redeemer, and that's found on page 94 of the prayer book. Canticle 19, page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing on page 97, let's say together the Our Father, followed by Suffrages A, page 97. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The three collects, collect of the day. Almighty God, who leads your people's feet into the ways of peace, 
raise up heralds and evangelists of your kingdom like your servant John Mott, that your church may make known to all the world the unsearchable riches and unsurpassed peace of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your people, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And finally, a colic for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In our prayers this morning, we pray for those who are deployed. Max Hazel, Andrew Maurice, David Spaulding, and Catherine Schweitzer. We pray for all health care workers, especially Ben Reyna and Rob Blackwood, Beth Corliss, Rebecca Deng, Tom Grant, Glenn Jones, Robin Lee, Sarah McLaughlin, Virginia Marshall, Carolyn Moneymaker, Norwood, Michelle Prescott, Jerry Reason, Bill Reed, Amy Riccio, Patricia Strauss, Ted Tanner, John Taylor, Tim Taylor, Ann Voigt, and Sally Ward. For our those who are sick, facing surgery, injury, or adversity, especially we pray for the President of the United States and his wife Melania, for Logan Kennison's grandmother, for Georgia Kennison, Hunter Benante, Catherine Blackwood, Francis Bernardo, Ann Taylor Cahill, Will Chambers, Linda Cherry, Dana Coltrane, Holly Cook, Rick Craig, Carol Davis, Terry Davis, Roy Dudley, Mary Earhart, Linda Erickson, Bernie Ham, Carrie Hughes, Tom Foyt, Dawn Fink, Lauren Henry, Julia and her family, David Marty, James Malloy, Pam and Ralph Northam, Langern Porter, Ruth Provost, Pat Rupel, Phyllis Sayers, Francis Smith, Mavis Stapleford, John Tanner, Dawn Tinkler, Priscilla Trinder Rohde, and Heidi Trumbull. We also pray for the repose of the soul of Anne McElwee Barnes, mother of Anne Voigt. Jenny Dilly, mother of Jim Dilly, and for the whole Dilly family, and for Margaret Mary Tobin, mother of Rick Strauss, and for his family. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Hope you all have a beautiful Saturday. Enjoy the beautiful weather, rest well, and I will see you Monday. Remember that Sunday 
uh, if you've signed up for a, the service, that is at 9 a.m., uh, please come a little bit early so you can get signed in and you're and scanned. Uh, we have about a hundred people signed up, and uh, if you are watching, we will uh, post the recorded service as well. And I will see you Monday.